The problems for my videos can be downloaded from my website, tonybell.com. Go to the website, click the PDF link. You'll see there's no sign in, no sign up, nothing like that. Just a hundred plus pages of accounting exercises. Many of the exercises are free and open, about 40%. And if you're working through those and finding you're getting great value out of them, you might consider joining and getting a channel membership that has access to the other 60% of the videos. All right, let's jump into today's exercise. Let's take a run through problem 12-1A. This problem has us identifying which costs are relevant and which costs are not in making a decision. So I just want to remind you, I think I introduced this in the module intro video, but in case you missed it or forgot, really two criteria to determine if a cost is a relevant cost. One is that the cost is not sunk. In other words, a sunk cost, you've already paid the money, so it's not going to be relevant to a future decision. And two is that the cost is differential between the alternatives. That just means different, right? So if I'm deciding between two options and the cost is the same in the two options, then it's not relevant to the decision because it doesn't make a difference to your analysis. So those criteria are floating around in the back of my mind as I jump into problem 12-1A, which of course you can download from TonyBell.com. Tammy Smith has recently gotten into winemaking at home. She has completed her first batch of wine, and while it was a culinary success, it tasted good, her husband Steve is not happy because her winemaking area has been encroaching on the space that had been previously exclusively used for his man cave oh no he knows his wife well and knows that she is cost cost conscious so he makes the following argument to appeal to her financial frugality sounds like she's cheap uh tammy i think you need to sell all that winemaking equipment i know the hobby is fun but it's financially wasteful I figure it's costing us $36 per bottle and we could get equivalent quality wine for $15 per bottle in the store. I've run the numbers and here they are. So he's trying to appeal to her financial side and saying this wine is really expensive so let's go through the list of numbers and obviously we're going to determine some of the costs he's bringing to the table will be relevant to this decision some will not though and so we've got to sift through and determine what's relevant and what's not. Uh, okay, so first, winemaking equipment, $400, and there's a fermenter, carboy, siphon, corker, and more were purchased. Grapes and juice, $150. Those Riesling grapes were expensive. Property taxes, $230. Our annual taxes are $2,300. Your winemaking is taking up 10% of the house's space. Okay, so 2300 times 10% is uh, 230 Yeast and additives, $20. $20 of yeast and additives per batch is brutal. It stinks up the house, making it smell like a bakery. What a mess. Uh, bottles and corks, $60. $50 for the bottles, $10 for the corks. And it says, I know the bottles are reusable, but the corks are thrown out each batch. Specialized cleaning equipment, $40. And he says, those bottle washers are weird. Um, the numbers don't lie. 400 plus 150 plus 230 plus 20 plus 60 plus 40, that's all the numbers that are bolded there, is $900. Your first batch was 25 bottles. And don't get me wrong, they were delicious. But that's $900 for 25 bottles of wine, $36 a bottle. That's more than double the price of your favorite Riesling, which only costs $15 at the wine store. Tammy, I love you, but I hope you'll consider giving up this wasteful hobby. All right, so he's uh, making a financial argument. I think the bottom line is he just wants his man cave back by the sounds of this. But let's break down the financial argument. Let's go through each of those bullets and determine is this cost relevant or not to a decision. Now, here's the decision. Calculate the relevant cost of producing the next batch of wine. So whether she should produce even a single other batch of wine, what costs are relevant to that? So is the winemaking cost relevant to whether she's going to make another batch of wine? The answer is no. She already owns the winemaking equipment. This is a sunk cost. Not relevant. NR, not relevant. We'll put R for relevant. Grapes and juice, $150. Yeah, she's going to have to get more grapes if she wants to make more wine, right? If she's used up all her grapes and her juice from the last one, this will be relevant. She's going to have to buy more grapes, more juice for sure. Property taxes. Well, if she quits making wine or she keeps making wine, they still got to pay $2,300 in property taxes. It's 
it is relevant. It's not sunk. Like they're going to pay the taxes in the future. So it's not a sunk cost. But what it is, is it's not relevant because it's not different between the options. Whether she makes the wine or quits making wine, their property tax bill stays the same. It's not different. So it's not a different cost, not a differential cost. It's not relevant. Yeast and additives, uh, twenty dollars of yeast and additives per batch. So yeah, if she makes another batch. That's twenty more bucks of yeast. I, I think it is relevant. Absolutely. Bottles and corks, fifty dollars for the sixty bucks, fifty for bottles, ten for corks. Interestingly, one of these is relevant. One is not. The bottles that are reusable. Well, that's not relevant. You've already bought the bottle. You don't got to buy new bottles for the next batch. You've got the bottles. And it's a sunk cost. Uh, the corks, though, that is relevant. You got to buy new corks for each batch. That $10 is relevant. So I'm going to note this one is NR and this one is R. So 10 bucks per batch is relevant. The 50 bucks for the bottles per batch is not specialized cleaning equipment $40 well you already own the bottle washer now it's not relevant that's a sunk cost so a lot of these costs are relevant for sure he definitely didn't make them up but there's a lot of these costs that are not relevant so let's add up the relevant costs for this decision I will highlight them now as soon as I find my highlighter uh, grapes and juice that's relevant 150 bucks yeast that's relevant and uh just the corks the corks are relevant the bottles are not so adding that up i just did the math in my head it's these three costs are the relevant ones it's 180 dollars per batch of relevant costs the rest that he brought up not relevant so if every batch makes 25 bottles I've got some bad news for old Steve. Uh, I think she's getting a bargain. <laughs> I think it's actually a good deal to make wine at home. Uh, let me open up my calculator app. There it is. Uh, $180 a batch divided by 25 bottles per batch. $7.20 per bottle. Uh-oh. That's better than the $15 at the store. So if these are equally good products, as he said they're getting a better deal making it at home so it's the frugal decision would be to continue making these at home so it says calculate the relevant cost of producing the next batch of wine okay the next batch is 180 dollars we broke it down per bottle though 720 per bottle but the answer to the question is it's 180 dollars is relevant cost per batch are there any non-financial items that would be relevant to this decision sure there are yeah, uh, well, listen, the, the space that it's taking up is a non-financial uh, item that is relevant to the decision. How much pleasure is it giving her? You know, if she uh, loves making wine, maybe the cost doesn't matter. Maybe if it even was $50 a bottle, legitimately $50 a bottle, and she could buy it for $15, she would still be happier doing it. It's a hobby. It's an outlet. It's something that she enjoys that brings value outside of the financial to her life. Uh, he could be right. A non-financial item is what if it is stinking up the house, right? That might be completely legitimate concern he's raising. And that is relevant to a decision to quit uh, making wine, right? Absolutely. If it stinks up your house, if it makes a big mess, you're staining your carpets with grape juice, all this type of stuff going on. Totally relevant to the decision. He didn't bring that to the table, though. He said financially, it's going to be ruinous, ruinous for us to keep making wine. And he is dead wrong about that. There are plenty of good reasons to keep making wine that are non-financial. There are plenty of good reasons to stop making wine that are non-financial. But the financial reasons his idea stinks all right thank you so much for watching hit one of those buttons on your way out of here and i'll see you in the next video bye for now the next video in our series is right up here and if you want a supercut of all of the videos in this series that's the one down below